So we're going to go in the Center for Civil and Human Rights, and I'm not really going to say a whole lot. I'm just going to present some digital moving images and just take in the experience. That we, not the admitted black voters of some section, will determine in the next election who shall sit in the White House of the United States. Two, two. We can preserve the peace and the honor of the state. We Uh, sure. I think go ahead and take a seat. Okay. Okay. And would you like an explanation before you begin? Yes. Okay, perfect. All right. You're all good. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, of course. And there's some sanitizer down there. Why? I just did that. That was very intense. Drivers refuse to transport them any further. I have very mixed feelings. I learned to be afraid overnight. I was no longer this fearless rider. Police Commissioner Bull Connor had driven back to the Tennessee border late Thursday night. They vowed they would return. And within a day, they did. Governor Patterson assured John Siegenthaler that Alabama's Highway Patrol would protect the Freedom Riders. But Governor Patterson's promises soon proved illusory. When the buses arrived in Montgomery, they were met by a mob. Before police could break up the crowd, at least 20 people have been beaten and injured. One of the riders, a white student, was banged up pretty badly. Two other students were hurt. And in trying to rescue a white girl member of the group, an aide to Attorney General Robert Kennedy, John Siegenthaler, was knocked out. We will have achieve something so basic and simple as freedom. Well, this museum is a powerfully and masterfully put together experience. I highly recommend it, and I will see you next week.